Any pet owner will tell you losing a pet is like losing a family member. Yeah, but imagine reliving that pain when you go to say goodbye and their remains are missing. Here's Joe Bepanicker. When Marge McConathy lost her Doberman named Stella, she took it hard. First of all, your, your pets are your family. But she says it was made harder by the company trusted to return Stella's ashes, a place in McKinney called the Pet Loss Center. Can't do anything without holding your nose. It's horrible. A place that has come under scrutiny by the neighbors. They say they've complained for months about the smoke and the smell coming from the crematorium. But recently, it's been about the time it's taken to get those ashes. Marge called in every day about her dog. And she said, Miss McConaughey, Stella is still going through her journey. And it will take another 30 days until she has completed her journey. And I said, save it. I'm coming to get my dog. 17 days after she died, a process Marge was told would take five to six days. I think they're overwhelmed by far. They can't keep up with the dogs that they're bringing in. Johnny Petway says the last couple of weeks, it's been especially brutal. He says pets have been put in bags and stacked out front. Marge came with a friend to get her dog back. She says they couldn't find her until five hours later. Her condition was just horrific. Uh, she was totally decomposed and uh, beyond recognition. We could not confirm whether animals were left out front with the company, but we did get this statement. In late April, the Pet Loss Center experienced a propane gas leak that severely impacted operations for over a week as we had to take equipment offline. They later said, we anticipate returning to normal timing by late June. Marge cannot wait that long and says no pet parent should have to. She went to another crematorium to get Stella's ashes. In Collin County, I'm Joden Panicker.